Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the St. Louis Cardinals taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now. Today's starting pitcher, Michael Lorenzen. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They could move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Castellanos puts it away and there's one down. Batting second. The left fielder. Alec. Now the number two hitter. Alec Burleson. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Counts one and oh. And that one is in for a strike. On the ground. Stop. Tosses to first. Two up, two down. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Two outs, base is empty. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. On the ground, right side. Stott over to oh. first in time. And they get Goldschmidt for the out. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. End of a half inning of play. So now the Phillies offense will see what they can do. No score. Back at Citizens Bank Park. And towing the slab, the guy with the big yacker. The yellow hammer, Uncle Charlie, Adam Wainwright. And Chris, he's hoping for some better fortune moving forward. He's racked up over 2,000 strikeouts in his career. He's such a competitor out in the mound. So fun to watch him work. I'm excited for this one. Bottom of the first. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Kyle Schwarber. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Next one offering one. down in the dirt. Chris Adam Wainwright for all the accolades, multiple all-star games, multiple gold gloves. He may have the... This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Off the batter's eye and gone. Schwarber goes deep. Home run number 35 on the year. And they grab the lead. It's Gonna have nightmares about that pitch. Perfect execution. It's not supposed to produce that result. He got hurt by a really good one there, but even a better swing at the plate. Trey Turner at the plate. First oh, offering okay. misses the mark. Yeah, and he is the Uncle Charlie of this era. Guy's just got a phenomenal one. It seems like he has gotten better as he has aged. More finesse, ability to move his pitches around. And boy, the combination between Wainwright and Yadier Molina, historic. Gonna count one and two. Wainwright winds and fires. 
And a ball Good evens the count. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Wayne Wright is ready and fires. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Two consecutive base hits for these guys that here. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, right. and so could every hitting coach in the right. league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's Bryce Harper. In the dirt, blocked. Nice job behind the plate there. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive You're edge out. to try to jump on him even more. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. Turner gets his lead at first. Nobody out. That's off the mark. Three balls, no strikes. And there's ball four. Nope. Ball four. Well, now he's got two runners on after that walk. And things can get out of hand in a hurry in these situations. So he's going to have to find a way to get back into the strike zone. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. First pitch just misses. Singy, here's an Adam Wainwright nugget. He's faced every team in the majors except the St. Louis Cardinals. Wainwright comes set, fires. There's a swing and a miss. First and second here, no outs. The one two spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another nope. and now it's That's even bad. up it's a good take good eye on that spot he's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here I love it. The pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Palacios settles under this one. He makes the grab. Runner tagging for third. And he moves up 90 feet. Runners at the corners now. One away. Matty, the second baseman. This is Bryson Stock. Obviously, a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. In there, and it's 0-1. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the... Hammer, base hit! The run scores from third, it's 2-0. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now it's Alec Bohm. Ball one there. The pitch out there to center Edmund going after it he's got it and yeah, there's two away that's a really nice play ranging back into the outfield for that catch we all know those could be a little tricky especially if the wind's swirling around out there 
JT Real Muto steps in, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Chris, do you know what JT stands for in JT Real Muto? Of course, Boog. It's Jacob Tyler. And here it comes. So lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. And it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Two on, two outs. And a count one and two. And the righty deals. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Wayne Wright, a 2 2. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We move on to inning number two here in Philadelphia. It's the Phillies two and the Cardinals nothing. Top of the second. Here's Here Nolan Arenado. And when you third talk about game. elite defensive Nolan. third baseman, right, this right. guy is at the top of the list. On, and a pitch. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play, can throw from so many different angles, and makes really tough plays look very easy. Next offering is in for a strike. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Well, Boog, one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. At the belt and fires. When you look at the ability to save runs defensively, but then also put runs up on the scoreboard, that's the kind of player that every championship team needs to have. Up the middle. Turner with the throw to first. One up, one down. That the short Wilson. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out and he makes all the plays. And it's fouled away. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. Gets a piece and stays alive. Here's the 0-2. Next offering is outside. That one way outside. Two balls, two strikes. Slider misses outside. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. That's a tough one to swallow right there if you're on the mound. You're ahead in the count 0 2, and you just couldn't find a way to put him away. It's going to be frustrating if that one comes back to bite him. Here's Andrew Kisner in the air to left center and puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two down. That accepted. The center field, number nine. Richie. Here's the center Palacios. fielder, Richie Palacios. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Contreras leads off first with two down to the inning. 
And one and two. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. And now it's one and two. Good eye right there. And now the count filled up three and two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Three. Got it. And that will end the inning. The Cards leave one, and they're down 2 nothing. Back here in Philadelphia, Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. The right field. Brandon Marsh. The wide to kick the pitch. And that one fouled off. Riding to the plate. Brown ball to the right side. And foul ball. The pitch. Fights it off. He'll see another. The pitch. Whoa. And ball one. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location, sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Here's Jake Cave now. First offering, and it just misses. Kicks and deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. One down, base is empty. And that one is in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes. Two strikes. Caught him looking for the K. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. So the batting order turns over. And now here is Kyle Schwarber. Yep. And that's downstairs and outside. Now remember, Kyle Schwarber, Schwarber grew up in Ohio, and so he got a chance to watch a lot of really good Cincinnati Reds teams. His favorite players growing up were Barry Larkin and Ken Griffey Jr. The 1-1. One -one. On the ground to the left. Arenado to first. In time. Inning over. So they go quietly there. We play two full. It's the Phillies two and the Cardinals nothing. And welcome back. And the batter now, Jordan Walker. The right field, number 18. Jordan Walker. Lorenzen back to work. Eight. And there's the strike. Oh, one's the count. Right hander kicks deals. And Come there's on. a ball. Two strikes. Struck him out swinging. And that's strikeout number 100 on the year. Well, I think he was waiting on the changeup right there, and he got it. It just drifted too far in on him. I think that pitch is just a little more out over the plate. Probably squares it up, but instead, he's going to have to go take a seat. Here's Tyler O'Neill. 
foul ball. O'Neill starting as the designated hitter, hitting ninth in today's lineup. And he's a former National League Gold Glover. The pitch. And there's a rocket into the outfield. So a man aboard now with one away. Now back, second base. Tommy. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. Now it's the second baseman, Tommy Edmond. Lorenz and throws to first. O'Neill back easily. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. And it falls. And that's the second out of the inning on the force play. Wow, this is one of those plays that happens sometimes, but it never really should. Seems like he just got a bad read on the ball, and the good throw from the outfield was perfect to get the out. Here's the left fielder, Alec Burleson. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. Oh. Lorenzen throws to first, oh, he's and he's back standing. The 1-0. Oh. And that's Whoa, outside. Right Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first... He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Edmund off of first with two away. The next offering misses. Three and one. Paul Goldschmidt to bat next. Lorenzen picks to first. And he's back safely. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Nah, what he wanted to do there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive and gives this offense a good chance to cut into their deficit. So two on with two away. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. That one missing inside. Righty delivers, and that one fouled off. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Here's a one two. And now two and two. Got him. Third out. So the cards strand a couple. They trail things here. Two nothing. Welcome back. Bottom of the Here inning. And now for the Phillies, Trey Turner. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. There's a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. The next pitch misses, and the count is one and one.
And that one off the outside edge. Well, these Phillies do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. Just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Man at first. Here's Harper now. If you're trying to keep the line moving, this is the guy you want at the plate. Such a good hitter. Can also flash some power. On the ground, two ball. On a second, they get one. How about that double play? For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. Back here at the ballpark, John Chambi with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Nolan Arenado. And he deals. Hard ground ball, base now. He was all that over that one. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. He reached out a walk his first time. Ball one. And takes low for ball one. And the 1 0. And he pumps in a strike. Wilson Contreras has put together a pretty special career. Multiple times he's been an all star and a guy that came up in the cup system as an infielder. Over to stop for one. And that's two. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5 4 3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. Andrew Kisner next up for the Cardinals Fly out his first time and that's in there for strike one and a pitch and that clips the inside corner 0 2 Cal both pitches on the inside part of the plate hitter is thinking I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. One and two here. Ball that time. Got him looking. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Bryson Stock. And a pitch. And that's in for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Next offering is down low. And the count even one and one. That one Ball missed. Right 
Pitch misses there. Three balls and a strike. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. And now a full count. Three, two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. High fly ball down the left field line. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Into second with a double. And they've got something brewing now. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. So, man aboard. And next is the designated hitter, Alec Bohm. 0 for 1 so far. That one's in there. It's 0 and 1. Kicks and fires. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. And a pitch. And misses inside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Stop at second with nobody out. pitch that misses the zone two balls two strikes still just the second batter of the inning and on the mound he's already thrown 13 pitches they got him working hard out there And the righty deals. Bounce back to the mound. Edmonds slings the first. One out in the bottom of the fourth. The batter, the catcher. JT. And up to the plate Real is JT Real Muto. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. First pitch doesn't find the zone. When you got a catcher like this guy with a big arm like that behind the plate, it really shuts down the running game. In the air, right field. Makes the grab. Runner tagging from third. The tag gets him, and it's a double play to end the inning. Always exciting to see a play at the plate. Trying to score with two outs, but the tag just gets him in time, and they cut down the run to end the inning. Back here in Philadelphia, and now Richie Palacios. Well, I'll say this as a former position player and base stealer when you come into a game and you've got a guy like this behind the dish with a big arm you really have to change your approach can't try to steal because you'll get thrown out maybe get a little bigger lead be aggressive on the secondary but this type of guy shuts the running game down the 1-0 -oh. that one laced to center and a base hit man aboard on the leadoff single <laughs> So important to get into the fielding position after you deliver that baseball. That is a scary one. Watch your lips. And now the right fielder, Jordan Walker. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. There's a strike. Nobody out. Runner at first. 
Next offering misses, and now it's even one and one. There goes the runner. There's a ball. Throw, tag, ow! A bullet from JT Real Muto. Well, that's just a good baseball play right there. I mean, pretty good jump off the pitcher, I'd say, and good catch and throw by the catcher. And I think if you did that 10 times, half the time the guy might be safe, the other half probably out. But you won. And that's too high. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. And a pitch. And he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. So now here's the DH, Tyler O'Neill. And he's already singled in this game. Tyler O'Neill, you look at that frame and you know he's got some power, but also an excellent defender. He's won multiple gold Aye. gloves. But speaking of that frame, his dad Terry was the 1975 Mr. Canada top bodybuilder. The 0 1. Swing and a miss. Well, what's impressive for me with Tyler O'Neill is just the athleticism. You talk about that frame, and yeah, he is a muscle bound player, but he's also flexible. So you see him do some things hitting, can go the opposite field, plays a gold glove caliber left field. So yeah, don't be fooled by the big muscles. Tommy Edmund. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. Pitch misses. Throw to second. Out there. And that ends the inning. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. Now, here is Brandon Marsh. The right shield. Brandon Marsh. And the right hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. No, he's really working that inside corner with the cutter. I tell you what, I hated that pitch. So tough to get the barrel to and to keep it fair. That one the other way. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Now, now, now. The first base. Jake. Jake. And digging in for Philadelphia, Jake Cade. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Foul ball there. And now the count is even. Right side, Edmund. To first, home half of the fifth inning moving along, two quick outs. Now that left field. Kyle. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. One for two with a solo home run back in the first inning. In there for strike one. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. In the air, left field. Lays out, but it's off his glove. Base hit, and the inning continues. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Back at Citizens Bank Park, all set for the start of the inning. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Tommy Edmond. Lorenzen back to work. Oh, that one misses. One and oh. 
you know these cards just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one they're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority but it's just not happening for them so far zero extra base hits in the game so it's been tough for them to get anything going check swing he held up and the count is two and zero. Oh. And there's a strike. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have guys in scoring position because they put themselves there. Drilled in the air, right field, way back there, and that is out of here. He'll touch them all, and they cut into the lead. It's 2-1. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Alec Burleson, next up for the Cardinals. He's 0 for 1. In there, and it's 0 and 1. 0 and 1. The pitch. That one fouled off. Now well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. The 2 Got him swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the change-up. Well, he didn't want to go after him with the fastball at all no, in that at bat. No, no, Nothing but off-speed oh. stuff. Even with all the change-ups coming, somehow he was still early on the swing. So I think he had to be thinking it was only a matter of time until he saw some heat. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. That one's in there, 0 1. Goldie goes six feet, three inches, a member of the 1,000 hit club, and he's a former National League MVP. And the right hander deals. Swing and a miss. No and it's nothing in two. Not a swing you want to watch again. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Two away. No, that pitch wasn't even close to being a strike. And that just goes to show you how defensive hitters can become when they're up against an 0-2 count. You're just hoping for a mistake somewhere near the zone that you can get the bat to. But right there, he was clearly anxious. He was swinging when the ball left the hand. Here's Nolan Arenado. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that is the third out of the inning. Cardinals do get one back on the solo blast. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Philadelphia, here's the shortstop at the play. Trey Turner. Not shortstop. The wind of the pitch. Turner had a really good college career at NC State. He went to the 2013 College World Series and led all of college baseball with 55 stolen bases that season. Pretty incredible. Here comes a pinch. Hard hit down the line and left. And that's just foul. To third. Over to Goldie. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Third baseman, number three. Bryce, Bryce Harper to the plate. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, with just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets outs. The 1-0. And fouled off. The 1-1. That clips the corner.
ground ball right side. He steps on the bag. Two up, two down. Number eight. Two outs, base is empty. Nick Castellanos stands in for the Phillies. Just missed. Next pitch misses. Two and oh. Two outs. Line to second. Snagged on the bounce. Sends it to first. And Castellanos is out. Inning over. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Phillies two and the Cardinals one. And welcome back. Top of inning number seven. Now up for St. Louis, Wilson Contreras. The pitch. That misses off the outside edge. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Jeff Hoffman up and loosening in the pen. Strom, the lefty, warming up as well. Out front, rip foul. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field knock. The 1-1 one -one is upstairs. 2-1. Two and one. There's a strike. Two two now. Stays alive. Next offering is fouled back. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. down looking a big first out here in the seventh via the punch out yeah it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this when you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this so a strikeout really puts them on their heels Andrew Kisner digs in down that one finds the zone and that's strike one At the belt and fires. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Pitch misses, and it's one and two. And delivers outside. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. The Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. And up next for St. Louis, Richie Palacios. One for two. Clips the outside corner. Strike one. Left hand batter waits. Just missed. Here's a one to one. Right back to him on the mound. 
on to first, and that'll do it. Redbirds down quietly, and our score remains 2-1. New pitcher for the Cardinals, Jacob Barnes. Just trying to keep this one close here, and You're this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Number 10, Jacob Barnes. Well, one run game, and now for the Phillies, Bryson Stott. The pitch just missed. Ripped to third and caught. Up next to Philadelphia, the designated hitter, Allen. Here's the Phillies DH, Alec Bohm. Softly hit to third, and it goes just foul. Here comes the 0-1. In there at the knees for a strike. That one just misses. Boom. Tries to hold up. Appeal to first. No swing. He held up. Daryl Parker with the call there. 2-2 two -two now. And that's outside. Okay. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Uh, I think he might have gotten away with one right there. That was a very hittable pitch right over the heart of the plate. And I know that batter is kicking himself right now. Would like to get that pitch again. Just pulled the string on it, and the deception gets him the K. Real Muto stands in now and watches strike one. Looks like he sacrificed a pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. Next offering is in for a strike. Ball one there. Two strikes. That one 95 to finish him off. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They lead it 2 1. Jeff Hoffman will take over here. Coming on to face a righty here, and he's been fantastic against him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. Jeff Hoffman. Jordan Walker now at the plate. The right wing, number 18, Jordan Walker. The pitch. There's a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And a foul ball. The 0 2. And that's a strikeout looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Digging in, Tyler O'Neill. That ball. one misses, and that is ball one. Right-handed reliever. Swings and misses. And a count one and one. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. 
And another ball. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. The next offering misses. And now three and one. Tommy Edmond waiting for a turn at the plate. That one hammered, but pulled foul. It's a hitter. You don't know what to expect here in the 3 2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3 1, he'll do it again 3 2. Swings and misses, struck him out. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Back to the top of the lineup and stepping in for the Cardinals, Tommy Edmond. Ripped on a line. Marsh makes the catch inning over. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. They're down two to one. JoJo Romero takes over on the mound. He's pitching on two days rest. Number 59, JoJo. Now it's the right fielder, Brandon Marsh. For the Phillies, the right fielder, Brandon Marsh. The wind and the pitch. Ground ball, left side, and foul ball. The wind to kick the pitch. And a ground ball to first. Fair ball. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. And at first, Jake Cave stands in for the Phillies. Bunts it in the air. Goldie makes the grab. One down. Now that the left field. Kyle. Kyle Schwarber. Now it's going to be Kyle Schwarber. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Action in the St. Louis bullpen. Number 31 getting loose out there. Step off, throw to first. Marsh dives back in safely. And the 1-0. -oh. Outside. And a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Two and one now. Swing and a miss. <laughs> He's been great in this one. Eye hand coordination just failed him a little bit right there. Marsh over at first with one away. And that's a check swing and a ball in the dirt. And now it's three and two. And that's ball nope. four. Ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it. Nope, really well. It's a really nice play Good appearance. Job. Here's Turner now. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Well, this is a critical spot for both the pitcher and the hitter. You can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations. 
On the ground, right side, and a base hit. Marsh, around third. Now a long throw home. Not in time. He's safe. And a run comes in to score. Well done. Drives in the run. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And now here is Harper. Pitch Ball misses. One. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. Come on, face it down. And there's a strike on the outside corner. That's in there. One and two. One ball, two strikes. And here it comes. And the one two misses to even the count. On the ground to first, could be two. Throws to second for one. Return throw to first, got him. Double play, and that'll do it. But the RBI single pushes across a run. Last chance coming up here for the cards. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Craig Kimbrell. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Alec Burleson getting ready to hit. A strikeout and a walk. Alec Burleson. And he deals. Not close with that one. Ball one. Good eye right there. That's in for a strike. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. and misses it's a strikeout well the first batter it's always a big one for the closer I mean you get that punch out you get settled in you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the guys that are playing behind you that you know you're going to wrap this thing up Goldie at the plate now that's ball one you're the mound right now. You know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. Kicks and deals. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Oh, that insurance run in the bottom of the eighth inning was so good to add on, especially with this power hitter at the plate. If he goes deep, you're still up in the ball game. Really good spot to be in right here. Now this is in the air down the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. So they're down to their final out. And next is the Cardinals four hitter. Nolan Arenado. One for three. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. They're down to their final strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter.
and he'll chew. Popped up. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Phillies claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Great pitcher's duel in this one. You get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these guys, it really came down to a few key at-bats. This was a fun one to watch. And your final, 3-1. The Phillies hang on to win it. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.